guys, what's up? Welcome to Get Fit With Jess and welcome to today's core workout. I am so excited that you're here with me today. We're gonna have an awesome 10 minutes together and the only thing that you're gonna need is an optional mat, towel or blanket, something for the floor to make it a little bit more comfortable for you. All right, you ready to get into this? I'm ready. Let's just get loosened up here just for a second, just by twisting out side to side. Loosen up that back. So we have five moves that we're gonna do. We're gonna do these 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So we'll go through two rounds of that. So that first round will kind of be our practice round, learning the moves, and then we'll really own it for that second half. Good, go ahead and just take your hands to your lower back. We're gonna push the hips forward, stretching out through those lower abdominals, getting that hyperextension in the back, and then just nice and easy, shoot those hips back. Feel a stretch in the glutes and then also in the lower back. Let's do that again. Push forward, go where it feels good to you, and then push back. One more time. Good. Let's bring it up, bring the arms up, feet together, reach to one side, stretch out that side. Good, other side. And then just a big reach up again, reaching from your fingers to your toes. Exhale down. Okay, so hopefully you're kind of loosened up through the core, but as always, if you need to take a little bit longer to warm up and stretch, go for it, then you can come back in and join me. But if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and take it down to the floor. Uh, we have a couple of options here in the first move. We can do a plank hold, and this can also be done in an elevated position on your couch, on a chair, anything that you can elevate on. You can do this in a kneeling position, which I would actually prefer you to elevate versus being here. You're gonna get more out of it if you're elevated. Um, so elevated or come right here. The next option is gonna be we're gonna hop it in into a bear hold and then hop it back out. Okay, so that's the most challenging, most advanced option or option. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So again, you're holding or you're hopping in and out. And that hop is meant to be slow, controlled. You're doing a little pause in each position. So in your plank, you're pausing. In your bear hold, you're pausing. Good, that's halfway point. So regardless of which option you're doing, let's all just make sure we have that stomach pulled in nice and tight. Working that entire core on this one. 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, so that was a nice little warm up for everything, right? Let's go ahead and flip that over. We're gonna do some windshield wipers and we do have some options here too. So we can do this with our knees bent at 90 degrees. Okay, we're gonna let the knees fall to one side and then back up. Next option, your legs are gonna be extended and straight. Ready? Let's go. And you can take your arms wherever it feels good to you. So maybe straight out by your sides, maybe you like them down by your sides. I'm actually gonna do mine with my knees bent. This is what feels the best to me. So you do what feels right to you. But we're using those obliques, okay, those abdominal muscles that run down our sides to pull us back to the center. And again, this is meant to be done very slow and very controlled. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right. Just let that rest for a second. Anytime you need to stretch it out, go for it. Exercise three, we're gonna do, let's see crunch into a double leg drop. Okay, so we're here, crunch. If you can, um, we'll drop both legs. If you need to do that one at a time, you can. Ready, let's go. The next option would be to extend the legs straight and we do that double leg drop there. So we do one crunch and then leg drop. However you want to do your leg drop, singles or doubles, legs extended or knees bent. Good. Working those upper and lower abdominals on this one. Five, 
four, three, two, one. All right, you guys feeling some heat happening in those abs? Me too. All right, this next one, we can do this with our feet down on the floor or lifted, okay? But we're gonna go quick side to side. So think about a bicycle crunch, okay? So you can do that here, but we're just going with the upper body. Ready, set, here we go. So go side to side. Again, legs up, knees 90 degrees, or drop the legs down and go right here. Just listen to your body. Do what feels right to you today. Challenge yourself. Good, we're halfway. I know, I feel the burn too. Let's push through together. Keep your lungs open, that's really important here. Try not to hold your breath, 10 more seconds. Good, good, good. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna come back over um, to kind of like a plank or in a kneeling position, okay? The mic is coming out. Okay, so let's come onto our hands and our knees in a spinal balance, okay? Right here. I want us to extend our right arm, left leg, and then crunch underneath. You ready? Let's go. So we're all doing the same move here. Extend, hold, pull underneath, crunch and squeeze. So we're gonna do this side for 40 seconds. The next time through, we'll do the other side. So really come up under, bring that opposite elbow to knee, crunch, squeeze, good. 20 more seconds, stay on this side. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull, crunch. Good, good, good. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. So remember which side you did that time. I have my right arm, left leg. So I'll do left arm, right leg next time. All right, so stay right here. We go back into round two. We know our moves, we know our options. Let's rock through it. Plank, hold, or do that hop in to that bear hold. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, get focused this time. I know last time we were just learning those moves, but now we know them, we know what to expect. So zone in, focus in, let's get the most out of it. 20 more seconds. Great job. 10 seconds. Come on, hold it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, all right. So we have those windshield wipers. Go ahead and roll onto your back. Get your arms where it feels good to you. Get in position, legs either fully extended or bent. Ready, here we go. Just let those Legs fall to one side. Use those abdominals to pull you back to the middle. And that doesn't mean that you have to go all the way over, okay? If that doesn't feel good to you, just go a little ways, okay? Just go about halfway over and then pull back. Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Very good. Okay, so now we have that crutch and then double leg drop or single leg drop. Legs can be fully extended or keep the knees bent. Are you ready? Get set, let's go. One crunch and a leg drop. Good, just keep that lower back pushed into the floor on this one. So tuck those hips under, glue that tailbone to the floor, keep it there. Good. Fifteen more seconds. I know, I'm feeling these two. Eight, seven, 
six, five. Give me one more. That is time. Good. All right. So you have just this kind of holding bicycle crunch here. Feet on the floor, or we'll get those knees to 90 degrees. Again, anytime. If you need to stretch that out for a second, go for it. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. Move side to side. Again, bringing in those obliques here. Keep those elbows wide. So we don't want to be doing this. Elbows wide, nice and wide, chin lifted. Very good. Come on. We're going to have to dig deep on these and push through that burn. If you're like me, it's real. The burn is real right now. Just breathe through it, push through it. 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. Oh, yes. Okay, flip it over. This is it. Make sure you do the other side this time. Let's get into that tabletop position. Hips are tucked under that nice neutral spine. So we're gazing down, looking down. Ready? Let's go. Extend, pull, crunch, other, under. So hold in each position. Hold in that balance and then pause, crunch, squeeze. Good, good, good. Halfway here, keep going. Come on, crunch harder, squeeze harder. You got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Sit that back into a child's pose. Maybe rock the hips side to side, releasing any tension you might have in that lower back. And then if you can, we'll shoot that forward, either coming into an up dog here, if that's too intense for you, bring that down to a cobra, or just pushing away from the floor, lifting, stretching out those abs. All right, how we doing? That was awesome. I hope you love that 10 minute core focused workout. If you're feeling good and you want to do it again, come back in, repeat it, or come back to it anytime that you want to. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. So give this video a like and subscribe. And um, be sure to check out in the description, uh, I have online boot camp programs running all the time. So if you're not in the Gift Fit with Jess community and you want to be, I would love for you to be. So check that out. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions and then I'll see you right back here in the next workout. Bye.